Two dozen chiefs representing treaties six, seven, and eight spoke as one. They vigorously condemned new Alberta Premier Daniel Smith's proposed, quote, Alberta sovereignty within a United Canada Act, unquote. The act gives Alberta the right to ignore any federal law that it believes harms the province's best interests. That includes laws related to resource extraction and environmental protections. Chief Tony Alexis of the Alexis Nakota Sioux Nation in Treaty 6 says the proposed bill is unconstitutional and illegal. We will not stand by quietly and allow colonial governing structures and people to ignore our inherent rights as treaty people. This bill sets up the province to allow extraction to happen at any rate completely unprotected. The fight for our rights to land and resources seems to never end. Chief Darcy Dixon of the Bearspaws First Nation in Treaty 7 says there was no consultation with any Indigenous leader in Alberta. We should have been the first stop for this discussion as stewards of these lands, as treaties people. Treaty 7 views the Alberta Sovereignty Act as completely unethical. Treaty 8, First Nations of Alberta, Grand Chief Arthur Noski said the treaties were signed by the federal government, not the province. Smith's proposed bill undermines the authority and the duty of the sovereign nations that entered into treaty. How can the province make a sovereignty bill when our treaties were made before the creation of Alberta? We are continually ignored and not acknowledged by federal, provincial and municipal governments in, in the way we deserve. And now the Premier of Alberta, Danielle Smith, is seeking to provoke the majority of Albertans, First Nations and other Indigenous peoples to appease a small minority of Albertans who are unhappy with the Liberal government. When asked about a recent story from APTN that shows no evidence of Premier Daniel Smith's claim of Cherokee ancestry, those gathered here laughed. I think uh, if I can... Uh I think they should go to the uh, the Pink Palace here, the Canada office. They're the ones that have that category of where to which bloodline you are, and maybe if she can find herself there, maybe that <laughs> they will believe. In a statement to APTN, the Premier's office says, we are committed to ensuring the legislation specifically states nothing within the act is to be construed as abrogating or degrading from any existing Aboriginal and treaty rights of the Aboriginal peoples of Canada that are recognized and affirmed by Section 35 of the Constitution Act 1982. It goes on to say that the Premier and Indigenous Relations Minister will be reaching out to treaty chiefs to book in-person meetings. With the majority government, the bill could be passed before a provincial election is expected next year. APTN reached out to the federal government and we will follow the story as it develops. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Edmonton.